What's up, everybody? Nucleonic here, and welcome to Mass Effect Mondays. We are starting off here. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Okay, classified information. All right, so you all nice people voted Secure on Mel Shepard. Actually, it was a really, 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 really close call. Like it was 50-50. But uh, Mr. Kyle was gracious enough to uh, cast the tie-breaking vote. Please so we are going to, to go profile. with this just a default <coughs> standard shepherd um one of the reasons i like soldier is because later on in i think it's mass effect 2 um identification uh yeah 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 we're gonna keep all this normal i'm not i'm not trying to get into any kind of massive casual we'll keep it casual just for the sake of the let's play to keep it well, we'll go normal. Normal. Normal will be fine. Uh, subtitles on. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's fine. Okay. All right. But, okay. So, um, the reason I like the soldier is because well, what about later Shepherd? on, Earthborn? it's going to be, no if you're not a soldier, you can't use assault rifles. And Doesn't I pretty much suck at, at, at anything else but assault rifles. So He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Ooh, emotional scars! Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? It's the only person That's who the can. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Yes! I'll make the call. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try to keep these episodes as short as possible. Uh, just for the sake of watch, you know, nobody wants to sit down and watch a 30 minute episode. Um, at least I don't. So I try to keep my videos about 10 minutes long. So that's what I'm going to try to do with these. This first video is going to be a whole lot of just cutscenes for the most part. Um, talking to people, getting acquainted with our crew. And we're also going to be doing a, this is going to be a Paragon playthrough, not a, what was it, a Pacagon, a Pacagon, I put up a poll for Renegade and Paragon, and by the time I realized I had a tap, typo, I put Pacagon instead of Paragon, somebody voted on it, and once you put a vote on a poll, you can't change anything, obviously, because you'd make them vote for whatever you wanted to, but... I couldn't change it, so it felt like a fool. And this is going to be the first time I've actually played through Mass Board Effect on a PC. Approach run has begun. So, I have played it multiple, 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 multiple times on Xbox. Like, multiple times. But this is actually, in fact, the first playthrough that I will be playing on the PC. I played around with it, familiar to myself, familiarized myself with the controllers, with the controllers, controls, yeah, and got fairly comfortable with it. I can see why people would want, like, prefer the PC versus control. Internal emission sync engaged. Console. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. Of so course not. What's going on here than the captain's letting up? Joker. <laughs> status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the Dude, room for that a stank eye Caden just gave. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. 
Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Uh. Hello. Hello, Miss. How you doing? Alright, eavesdropping. Yeah, this first episode is going to be a bunch of just talking. No action, pretty much, on this one. So, just getting ourselves acquainted with the crew here. Commander, looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What could you possibly be talking about? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Now, see, that statement doesn't make sense. Because, you know, okay, spoiler alert. When you get to the Citadel, he releases command of the Normandy and gives it to you. Who is supposed to be in charge of this? Why is Captain Anderson here? Who's supposed to be? Who else is supposed to be in charge? Shepard? Shepard wasn't given the ship until after he became a Spectre. That's uh, it's one of the things that's Let's always bugged me when you talk to this guy. Good luck, Commander. Somebody can maybe answer that. If y'all know the answer to that, maybe know something I don't know. Let me know in the comments, because I sure as heck don't know. What's up, Doctor Chakwas? Corporal Jenkins. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real <coughs> you action to... <coughs> usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Excuse me, I'm getting over some kind of gunk. I don't know what the heck it is. It's been lingering for. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool. A few days, a few weeks, Sorry, actually. Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine, just son. Just like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have, you have a long, long career, career of uh, about another Don't three or four worry, hours. <laughs> not <laughs> the captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, yes, yes. Do 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 do. I will say I like the graphics seem to be a little bit smoother on PC than uh, console. Because like I said, it's the first time I've played it on PC. Here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. Oops. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, mm -hmm. hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Wait a you minute, what something? are you up to? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Yeah. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. No joke, Dick, Dick, Dick Tracy. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. And we don't know this a thing based. about the Pro Protheans. Last time humanity made a discovery like this. Like, it jumped our technology forward who they were, years. what they were doing, Prime doesn't have how they got the technology they got, but yet we're just going we to use it. The beacon back to the citadel Seems the logical. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, I'm glad to have you here. To have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why <laughs> I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. 
Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Uh, Anderson Earth just got to saying that. <laughs> We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get oh, it's so slow team. to get started. Alice will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. So, you guys let me know in the comments. Um... Get down! Whether you, you want to see every cutscene. I mean, obviously we want to we want to do every interaction as far as, like... Where there's key choices to be made. But if it's... But if it's something, you know, trivial or something like that, would y'all like to see it or not? Or, you know, you want me to shut up during the cutscenes? Or talk during the cutscenes? So. Just let me know below. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. Well. Wow. Like reverse and hold 38.5. How does he know 38.5? That's going to be exactly where he wants. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Ain't that the truth. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I don't like that Jenkins guy. Can you give me somebody else? <laughs> Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with Why is the helmets open? I move faster. I mean, own. it's not my question. Why the helmets Nihilus are open? Why are we hooked up? Why are we pressurized? Like, why are there hoses on the back of the helmets? I've always wondered that. Understood, Captain. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We We are approaching drop point two. I wanna know how in the heck they got all the way down there from that. They just taking off. There they go. Sayonara, Normandy. Alright guys. All right, let's go. See a little bit of action here. Can't just do this with no action. Gotta have a little bit of gunfire. Oh, press Q to holster your weapon. Ah, oh, thanks, I should've turned those off. I wonder if we can turn those off. Actually, I should probably leave those on since this is the first full playthrough I've ever played on PC. Unless it's gonna annoy you guys, I can turn them off. I can figure it out on my own. No, Jenkins, no! Yeah. All right. Woohoo! We leveled up. Sweet. Okay. All right. Whoa. All right. I'll uh, continue. All right, I am going to invest heavily in charm. Bam, bam, and uh, assault training. Okay, all right. Y'all also let me know in the comments what y'all think is best for this area right here. That will be like a pretty much almost like an every episode kind of thing. Y'all just, I'll go searching through the comments and find out. Take advice. Y'all give me advice on what you want me to do. All right, so we are done with, uh, all right. Okay, alright, so back. 
Uh, OQ, holster the weapon. Okay, all right, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode. I know, well, let's go check on, let's go check on Jenkins real quick. We can take care of that while we're here. Oh. Never stand a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, all right, now. That's gonna be it for this episode. If you like this video, give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Whatever, good, bad, whatever. I'm here to entertain you guys and keep you happy, so if there's something I can do to change, let me know. Um, if you're new here, just subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get updated whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It's great to have you. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you later.